Hey everyone and welcome back to the Oh So and So. Today we are going to work on a collage. And I had picked up these frames at an estate sale. And uh, you can you can find these just about anywhere you go. I mean, the thrift stores, Goodwill, the antique stores, they're all different prices. Um, I had given two for these and 50 cents for these. So I am definitely repurposing some of that flag stuff and some older stamps that I had. George Washington, five cents. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. Um, I repurpose, decorate, thrift haul, antique haul, cooking, cleaning, organizing, just whatever pops in my head is what we'll be doing. So today is a collage. So, in this one, it has these, and a lot of them are already loose. So I'm just gonna take pliers and pull them out. Okay, now we're going to take it all out and with the newer frames, this glass is so thin, so be very careful when you're cleaning. We don't want you to get cut. All right, so I'm going to clean and do a little bit refurbishing on this and I'm going to use the orange oil. I'm just going to squirt some on my cloth here and just give it a little, little tender love and care. And you can use this stuff for your wood furniture, your uh, your dough bowls, your regular bowls, uh, your cutting boards. Of course, I'm sure you can use them on your cutting boards. Only decorative cutting boards. It says, do not swallow. So, I guess I definitely don't need to lick my fingers. <laughs> I tell you what, today's been a day. Out early, early, early. I was bound and determined that I was going to get my trailer cleaned out, swept, and put the bins in there for the show in Kentucky. Got that done. Finally finished up my, no longer we're calling it my garage. We're calling it my inventory room. My sister pointed that out and I thought, you know what? There's enough in there. So we are calling it the inventory room. No more garage because we definitely don't have any cars in there. So, we're getting this all nice and clean. Now, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. And 
we're going to go and clean the glass. And then it has this sticker. Oh good, this one comes off fairly easy. Well, of course, of course I said it too soon. That's why it's good to have a little bit of nails. Now, Windex or glass cleaner, whatever you have on hand is good. Just be careful with the glass. Put it back in. Let that dry. Now, making sure it's not streaks or anything. All right, so I've just about exhausted myself with this flag material. And I have decided this is the last project I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to put the rest of it up. The Lord be willing next year, I'll bring it back out and make something new. But this, this project is it with that. Now, let me get some, uh, I feel like I got that oil on my hands. Now, we're going to be using double-sided tape. I love this stuff. Love it. Um, so... This was the picture that was in there, and this was the back, okay? So, I've decided that I was going to cut another piece of paper. Well, no, nope, that one goes with that one. Here we go, and then that goes with that. So, it's not long enough but I'm gonna cover it with some of that flag material. So I'm gonna put it down with double-sided tape just to make sure it does not move on me. Just a little bit. I'm turning it upside down. And then I'm going to press. <clears throat> okay. Now, here we go. I can... I can use it this way. I want to definitely cover up the paper that's not this coffee stained here. So I can cover it like that. Alrighty. So I'm gonna leave it there. Grab my double-sided tape. Try it again. If I was able to edit, I might edit that out, but you know what? That's gonna to happen to all of you guys too. So now it's not going to come off. And if I need to pull or cut, <coughs> I can cut. And we're going to turn it over. Maybe I'll put some right here just to be on the safe side because I really don't want it to move. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over to the back. And I'm going to pretend that I am uh, wrapping a package, 
okay? So I'm gonna put a little bit of tape up here because when I fold that one over, and I am finger pressing. Okay, so let's use some more here. You know, sometimes I wonder about my instructions. Um, when Pam and I would teach in Florida, we'd have to say, you cannot assume anything. You need to explain everything. So I am just putting this double-sided tape on the back. So it just makes it a little nicer. And we'll lay down. Same. That way it'll look nice from the front. And then we'll do the same thing with the back. Just finger pressing. Okay, um, let's, I'm gonna cut that part off. Each time, each collage you ever do, every one will be totally different. You just kinda have to, I guess, go with the flow of it. So I'm gonna cut this one off because this is going to be in the edge, you're not gonna see it. And if I wanted to, I could cut all this off. But I'd rather just turn it over, put it the back of this picture instead of throwing it in my trash. Now, perfect. So even though this is the back and this is the front, this is the back of that picture frame. So you won't even see it after it's been put into the frame, okay? So now we're going to add stuff. And we can add whatever, whatever you have on hand. <clears throat> I had oodles of paper and I kind of wanted them a little simple because if I was going to put this on a shelf, maybe in front of a basket or a stack of books with the candle, I wanted it simple. So I got this one on there. And I also have a smaller one. I have something that has a bigger print. Okay. So whatever you want to do. So I wanna show you how to do this edge. Okay. So we're going to, instead of doing it to the back, I want you to do it towards you. And that way, it will give you that white, okay? You do it to the back, you get the white here. But I wanna do it on the front. Okay. <clears throat> oh, let's get some drink here. More water, more water. I drink all my Coke. I definitely don't need any more of that. So, I kind of like the bigger words. But then I also kind of like this. But who's to say 
we can't use both of them. Or this one has a little darker. We can even tuck to where some of it comes out. Maybe put some like this. It's whatever you come up with, whatever you're happy with. So maybe I'll do it that way. I kind of like that. So I'm going to pull it toward myself because I want that edge on it. And then I'm going to just tuck it back in there. Use my double-sided tape to make sure it doesn't move. Now the nice thing about this, if you don't like it, after you put it in your frame, you can always pull it right up. See, I've just put the double-sided tape on there. So when I go to turn it over or it, the, it doesn't move. So I am going to put just a little bit more in that corner to make sure. And then I'm gonna take my old stamps. Now, I got these stamps years ago at an estate sale. And I had picked up a box of what I thought was old Christmas cards. Um, I didn't ha really have time to look in everything. I was just, you know, grabbing, yes, I think I could use it, I'll do this, okay, okay, let's check out. So, but when I got home and I looked at everything, there were all these stamps from all over the country. You know, how pretty, you know, evidently, The lady that had, see this one's different than that one, but how cool. I got Roosevelt, um, Abraham Lincoln, a little bit of everything. So I'm just gonna use this. Now I can keep that part on there or I can take it off. I kinda like, it on there because it shows where it went through the post office with the stamp. And then we're just placing I have another one here. So I have several Okay, I kind of like that one. All right, so let's put it down. And I also have a double-sided tape gun where it comes with a big roll that goes into this gun and you can trigger release, I don't know. I don't know how to describe, to explain it to you. I don't know how to explain it to you, Lucy. Alrighty. <laughs> We're just going through the day, aren't we? You're like, okay, comedy hour at five o'clock. Let's watch those so and so. <laughs> I know it. Oh my goodness. Alrighty. Where'd I throw it? Oh, 
I love doing collage. Um, I've made so many. There's a lot of it out in my inventory room. Thank you, Kathy. Alrighty. So, what do you think? Patriotic? Americana? History? Perfect. Now, I'm going to use this tool. Let's see if I can get it to where you can see the name. You load the um, the little, what are you, I don't know what you would call it. The little things that come out. <laughs> I doubt it. But anyway, the holders, but you just put it down. Try, don't do it like this because you'll break your glass. I just kind of hold it because every time I do that, I feel like the sides are going to come off. And I like this frame because you still can put it on a shelf or you can hang it. Now, I'm going to do it in the middle. Alrighty. And then if you say, oh, I should add some more, all you have to do is just bend these up and then press them back. So, that is our collage for the day. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned something. Um, I don't know. There's something about a flag and I don't know. I just absolutely love it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. I think I have one. I have one more to go. Um, this one, can you see? It's a four cent stamp and it's Abraham Lincoln. This one, I feel like I need to add something, but that's the nice thing about this part that I could just you know, add more to it. I do have another one. This was a different frame. This you could just print off from your, you know, your printer. And I cut it out. This one I feel like needs um, some more blue. So I've got to look around in my stash to see what else I can add. All right, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've learned something. And I'm so excited I got my trailer done, cleaned out, packed. My garage is nice. Oops, my inventory room has been nice, repacked, restacked, and combined where I literally can walk from the garage door all the way out to the back door, which is good. So, I hope you have an awesome day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you will, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe, share, and hit that bell notification because you never know when I am going to upload another video. And thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate it.